Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm shooting in the morning because it's going to be another busy day for me and I got a quiet house for now so I thought I'd quickly film this. Um, this actually arrived yesterday and I was just like back to back busy so I couldn't really do a proper unboxing. I have had a sneak peek at this one, um, this plotter at the bottom but we're going to go through everything and have a look at what I got from Yoseka. So it's all been unwrapped already. It was wrapped in beautiful brown paper, but my partner did unwrap it <laughs> um, because I asked him if a parcel came and he thought that meant he can unwrap it. So that's why we're here. <laughs> um, so I made this purchase from Yoseka for the plotter. There's a couple of other things that I wanted to get as, as well while I was there. So Yoseka sent just this really, really cute little um, sticker. And I love this so much. It's so adorable. Just a little thank you card with a little postcard. And then the fun stuff. So let me move this over to the side. So first up we have, I have been wanting one of these Superior Labor brass clips for ages now. But on the, you know, eBay and Etsy the resellers are selling them for double the price. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get it from Yuseka because they're available. So I picked up one of these. I don't know which one of my traveler's notebook I'm gonna put this on yet, but one of them. Um, I'm also gonna do like a traveler's notebook haul, a collective haul um, soon as well, maybe over the weekend. So I I'll, I'll, might bedazzle one of them with this then. But this video is mainly about this beauty down here. So. That's one of the first ones. And then I also wanted to get the Yoseka Brass token because this is so freaking cute. So I definitely want to put this on one of my TNs as well because it is just adorable. I love Yoseka, so definitely going to use that on one of my um, Traveler's Notebook. And then we have another Superior Labor um, item. And this is the Superior Labor pen holder but the magnetic one. Now I have been wanting to get the double one for ages, um, the one with the clip, but I want one for my Prada TN, but I don't want it to leave marks. So I thought this one would be ideal. I'm gonna test it on another one first to see if it leaves much of a mark or not, but I don't think it will because it's a magnet. Whereas this one, like the one with the double, it will leave a mark on it, so. I'm going to use this on my Prada one, so very excited about that. And it just comes with one of the leather tags as well. Then I was like, I have to get one of the Yoseka inserts. I haven't had a look at this properly yet, but this is gorgeous. I just love the green and the gold foiling. This is so cute. I love all the pens. And then that's the window. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I think this is Tamoe River paper. Oh, that feels so good. I hate that you can only buy one per order because the shipping that I paid is pretty expensive, but it was worth it. So I'm not too sure. I might use this as a journal in my Prada TN because I love the paper so much. Um, yeah, really happy with this. Then, as you can see, I just got the band lifter. I'll just quickly unwrap it now, and you can see it's in the A5 size. So this is pretty much just to use on my plotter, um, and it's to keep the plotter closed. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Oh, yep. Cairns, Sydney. So I'm right there on the map. <laughs> That's wild. I love that you can see the whole map. This is cool. And it's got like a little ruler down the bottom. That's very nice. Mm, numbers, okay, I don't care for numbers. All right, so let's just pop that to the side as well. So this is the beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. So it just comes with a bit of paperwork, some information. Don't really care about that right now. I just want to open this pretty girl if I can. So I got 
the brown, I think it's upside down. I got the brown A5 plotter. Oh my God, the smell that's coming off this plotter is insane. I love the texture of this. Oh, wow, that is, that is wild. Oh my gosh, I just love, this is gorgeous. So why did I buy this? Um, as you would have seen in some of my other YouTube videos, I have started drawing again. It's been 10, 10 years since I've been drawing and I really wanted to have like a cover that's really slim, um, one that doesn't hold too much paper, one that I can take the, um, the piece of paper in and out of and I thought this was perfect. I've always wanted a plotter. Um, I've, I've got my Louis Vuitton agendas. I don't need another agenda. I do love the slimline one for the Bible size, but I don't, at the moment, I'm not interested in kind of moving out of my Louis Vuitton agendas. And I, right now I am currently in the A6 Mulberry agenda. So I don't need another cover for an agenda, but I did want a beautiful leather cover for my art journal that the papers can come in and out of. So that's what I bought this for. How am I going to use it? So let's just open it. Now I couldn't buy the ring protector um, because it was not in stock, unfortunately. So I will try and get that at another shop. Um, Yuseka is the only shop that ships plotted to Australia and outside of the US. So that's exciting. Uh, I don't know if I can, I might be able to get this off eBay, like the protector, but I want this to be lived in. So I don't really mind too much. If you can see if I, even if I go to uh, my local um, craft store and I just get some like, like a, like a small bit of leather. My mum has heaps of leather cause she uses leather for sewing her bags. Like she creates bags and stuff. So I might even get her just to cut out a piece of leather here um, with six holes. And I'll just use that instead of paying a ridiculous amount for shipping just to, for one piece of leather. So I will definitely, my mum's currently away um, on holiday. So I will get her to just maybe cut out a piece of material just to fit over this to protect protect the rings but at the moment I'm not too really bothered um but yeah how am I going to use this so I purchased this mixed media art sketchbook off Amazon and I got this because this is an A5 size it's close to A5 size uh and it has um, rippable paper so you can remove the paper out of this so I thought this would be perfect to rip out punch holes in and then use this as the paper that I use in my plotter so I have already prepped some paper out of excitement and it's just here so what I have done is I've cut it down so it's perfectly A5 size. I've hole punched them all. So I can insert it in here. Oh, I'll do a couple at a time, I won't do that many. But I just love that it doesn't hold too much paper that I can really focus on each drawing at a time and I can remove it like how amazing is that I just love this flexibility like I love this like that book's cool but I just want when I'm drawing it to be inspiring creative I want a leather cover that's going to age with time and handle and I want this to be looking rustic like soon the more I use it the better because I want this to look lived in I want this to look artistic because I've gone full force back into my drawing and like I've, I've I'm starting slow but it, I've been having like so much fun I have been doing a lot of drawing in my um like I did some drawing on here when I was at my desk this is a bit too big to take to bed but as this one is very portable like look how slim that is this is so portable let me put that band lifter in as well I'll we'll just slick her into the back. And then how do we 
we do this. Look at that. That is perfect for just traveling around. I can slip this into any bag, a laptop case, anything. I just love, 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 love this. I will show you my Prada um, little sketchbook here. This is the sketchbook I've just, this is just normal plain paper. Um, Traveler's notebook insert that I've just used one of my sticker covers on. And I've just really started drawing, practicing again. I do love that one. Types of drawing. I do love how that one came out. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying drawing. But a lot of my drawings, you know, there's only so much you can do on um, the Traveler's Notebook size paper. So that's why I wanted to also add this one for when I wanted to do larger drawings. And I think this is great. Like this is doubled the width and I just love, I just love it. I'm, I'm so excited to be drawing again. I'll show you, I also have, so this is my drawing kit. <laughs> Um, I finally made use of this pouch and this is going to be my little drawing artistic pouch. Um, I would love to fit my watercoloring in, but the, unless I find like mini paintbrushes, there's no point. Um, so minus all the dog hair. Oh my gosh. So this is also a little drawing sketchbook slash journal that I have that this is what I started off with. And then I created um, one fit in my larger TN. This is just for like mini drawings, little fountain pen drawings, just practicing everything. It's been a lot of fun. I've, I've really, really enjoyed picking up a pencil again. And these are the main tools that I use. So, so these are all Coeco mechanical pencils. This is um, the 0.7 mil lead pencil. This is the SketchUp one with the thick lead. And this is an erasable one. It's literally the same as this one, but they just sell it as an eraser because they've got the eraser insert. So yeah, love that. Um, I've already done a what's in my pencil case in another video, so I'll link that below. But these are just what I've been taking up to bed with me to draw and I'm so excited to now have this beauty because she's going to age in time and I, I've seen what they look like after a year or two of handling. I'm so excited for it to look lived in like it's going to change, it's going to patina and I just want it to look like an artist has been using it, like an artist's art journal. So I'm very, very excited. I'm not going to fill it up with too much paper. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this. So that's pretty much the unboxing. This is what I'm gonna be using it for, you know, in the future, if I ever do wanna use this as an agenda cover, I can, I've got it, but I've got my Louis, that's what my Louis Vuitton agendas are for. So whilst we're here and I've got my Prada TN, I just wanna see, because this is magnetic, it should be fine, but I don't know, I just don't wanna have much deco on the front of this like it did come with scratches already like I think that's a little bit more safe than having say one of these on here so yeah I think I'm going to use that on another TN um but yeah I really love this I can pop like a pen in there I'm not sure what pen's going to fit in that hole but I'm, I'm not I'm sure because it's leather it will wear down in time but I definitely just feel a lot safer having the magnetic one on there rather than the clip one. But I do want to get the Superior Labor double pen clip eventually, but I love how that looks, like black on black, that's so slick. But yes, so guys, this is my fun little unboxing. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm literally gonna start using this today. I've got a little bit of downtime today, so. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. I do run a few businesses and I am working very long hours. Yesterday I did 13 hour work day. 
Um, so I'm knackered today. I feel like I've been hit by a bus, but just trying to handle my YouTube and social media and like all my Instagram accounts and replying back to emails and everything and actually editing and you know, all that stuff. It's a, very hard for me to stay on top of everything. So if I do miss a comment, I will hopefully get to you eventually. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm excited to be posting on YouTube again as I have had a couple of weeks break. So yeah, anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.